So what do you want to do? I'm going to come up with 999 hours of footage uh, that's like enough that could be watched in an entire year for somebody. Uh, and it's just kind of like an intro. It goes through an intro and then eventually to really deep shit about um, kind of just breaking somebody out of the matrix. Like, let's say you have somebody who is really new to the idea of thinking outside of the box and questioning authority. Every show is like its own universe, which really is just abstractions or interpretations of other of the universes of the people creating it. And uh, that's the interesting thing about what it is, is because it's this universe that I'm starting to realize is developing. Um, what it is universe first. first what first, it is universe. It's becoming what it is. Um, and we don't even have to do it, it just kind of makes itself, we put these cameras on, we get hours and hours of stuff, hours. and we edit that, edit it down, and sometimes, sometimes, and all this stuff gets archived, and we're, we're really, we're waiting for the technology, where we can go, hey, remember that time we were talking about this? And sure. And it's like, right. Right. and it drives, right. and it's like, how long we just are down the shore, so. and then it just comes yeah. up. And uh, it'll say stuff when it was raining, right. search for yeah, things, yeah. just be in this whole database. But we got to make the technology happen first. But right now, we're just archiving the shit. So when the technology is at the point where it can go through all this data and figure shit out, we'll have the data for it to figure out, which is these recordings and yeah. everything. And there's going to be things that will fix the white balance, balance automatically. It's going to be great. Hey, let's take this inside. Yeah. Somebody out of the Are you watching so this? Let's I'm say you have somebody doing who computer stuff. is really new to the idea of thinking yeah, outside of the box and questioning authority. Let's say you find an adult who's never questioned authority before. And, like, they're just now considering, like, wait, you mean, like, uh, the Bible isn't historically accurate? What are you talking about? Or, or uh, you mean the government story about this thing? Okay, so that Chappelle video we just watched, that would be, like, a good intro one. So then That's what the intro was. So I feel like that was just some good stuff that we could have uh, talked to you guys about. But uh, yeah, we're talking about getting a water cooler and we're going to dump it on somebody's head in order to raise awareness of uh, dumping. I forget. So I'm looking for 999 plus videos that you think uh, were very influential to you in breaking yourself out of the box of the mass media influence. 25 years ago, if you asked someone to see you a Michael Jackson song. They could probably do it, or maybe they would recognize Michael Jackson's song. But now, not everybody can sing you a Rihanna song, or not everybody can sing you a Kanye song, or a Taylor Swift song. There are no megastars anymore. So uh, I, want to, I want to string them together in a logical way so that you can play it for someone and they'll break out of the matrix. Break it up. Only if they choose to, you know, like, we kind of like structuring the rabbit hole sort of. These people don't have good networking skills and their uh, ideas will never be heard unless we find them and get them on camera and get them on the show. Because we all, you know, when we get into this research, we go to all these different places and there's a few dead ends that we all can agree. And, you know, dis uh, disinformation people, known misinformation people, 
And then, like, sometimes it goes to weird, really weird stuff. And uh, oh, how about just, like, a YouTube playlist? Yeah, like, a YouTube playlist I would make. And it would be, like, a really good, uh, just a recommendation for a logical series of steps that you would go through to break out of uh, the, you know, the mind control. Back. That was fun, wasn't it? That was cool. I don't know why you're still watching this, but I commend you. I'm starting to thank you for watching this. Yeah, like that's like Bowie, right? Yeah, he's in the game? Yeah. Cool. He's in the game. I know, I thought that I have unremarkable bones. That would be a peaceful way of living, like just being as unremarkable as possible. Like you just get through life and get paid and you eat whatever it is with you. I have a giant thing in your own heart. I didn't really laugh. I'm not supposed to laugh on camera, but we do that, you know, because we're trying to. You know. It's cold air, feels good. I feel like I'm in, uh, I'm in like Rhode Island or something. Why do y'all live around here? Uh, we're afraid of alligators. Yeah, alligators. It's a really good reason. And tornadoes, hurricanes. Wow. I can't wait for that stuff. <laughs> yeah, I should, uh, I gotta give Spot a ground. Uh, where did you go? Is this still recording? We've been hard at So then if any point, the judge asks you any questions, you say, am I being cross-examined here? And the judge be like, no, I'm just asking you a question. I'm like, well, you know, like, uh, if you're going to ask me any questions, it's the prosecutor's job. You know.